Hey YouTube, Mike the Gambling Guy here, back at you. Gonna play some Baccarat, and we're gonna be using the best Baccarat app in the kingdom. That's right, Regal Castle. If you wanna know how to get, just download on your app store, either the uh, Apple iTunes store, or you're gonna go to the, uh, the Google Play store, and it's Regal, R-I-G-E-L, Castle. C-A-S-T-E-T-L-E, -E, easy for me to spell. Regal Castle, Baccarat, pops right up and let's walk through a little bit of the app All right so i just got done playing king's richard knight and i actually want to show you this uh this one you're not making a bet on every hand and i'm, I'm also using a, a different money management that has positive progression and negative progression it's called the orc <laughs> right so let's let's walk through some of the customizations that you're able to do uh, so you can see on this one i had, had had won my four units that was my goal uh, to, to get four units and out. Well, how do you set a goal? Let's go, let's go show you how you do that. So you're gonna click on the uh, three little lines up here in the upper left-hand corner. And then from here, you can go ahead and you can you can click on your little person and you say, okay, we're gonna to, wanna to use an avatar. If they had a bald avatar, that'd certainly be one I would, I'd, I'd probably change my preference to. But now I'm gonna be the, this, this guy with a better beard than I've got. Um, I guess just then you can put your, your nickname up there. And um, and then as far as game preferences, this is where you're gonna get a lot of different game preferences. So we're gonna go ahead and cl click on the cog wheel. So this is showing that my base unit, so every time I log in, this is one way that you can just set it, right? When, you, when you're coming in, uh, if you just wanna set your base unit. So my starting uh, buy-in for this strategy is $650. My bet selection, so that means, you know, which strategy am I gonna use? Now for using AI, then it doesn't really matter what selection you grab. Just grab one and you're going to end up being on the brain playing the AI anyway. But uh, but we are playing uh, King's Richard Knight. So that's why that's highlighted. And then I'm using the Orc Grand Money Management. So if I come down here to, to the Orc, you're going to see it's highlighted. The buy-in at a $25 unit because it takes 26 units. is $650 and it has nine steps. Uh, nine backward steps to it. <laughs> It also has some forward steps <laughs> that, that goes along with it. So, so that's how we would go ahead and, and get that set up as far as uh, that information. So we're going to go ahead and update that. And then uh, sound, you've got the, uh, the ability to come in here and change your wind sounds. I kind of like the, uh, the cha-ching. It let, lets me know that I've, I've won. Um, I find the uh, lost rich voice is hilarious. Unfortunately, it's not, it's not suitable for YouTube. <laughs> uh, so let's... Congratulations. So I'm going to do a congratulations. And uh, so you, you can hit the preview, see what that sounds like. And then you've got a, a, a place your bet sound as well. So we've got a funeral saying, place your bets. Because remember, in uh, Richard's uh, night, we're, we're not making a bet selection every time. So, so I kind of like that little heads up saying, okay, it's time to make a bet. And I'm going to go ahead and update that. Of course, uh, you've got the ability to update your shield, right? So on some of these, you can do, you know, it depends on what you want. Some of them um, are better being a 2-2 shield or 3-2 shield, 3-1 shield. Uh, it really depends on what strategy you're using uh, because of the way that those those go uh, in, in how you would how you would change that. You can also have the option of saying instead of virtual wins, you want to change this to a pattern. So maybe your pattern, you're looking for a loss win-win, right? Instead of virtual wins, this is how you're gonna get back in or you had a win-win loss. And that now it's going to, to, to pop the shield up or if you had a win-loss win, you wanna pop that shield up, right? So, so you've got some, some different, uh, different choices there. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, go back to the uh, virtual wins and then I'll, I'll go ahead and update that. So it gets us back here. So that was the shield. The last thing we have is our alert messages. So our, our alert messages is, is how many units do you want to set as your goal? So I want to make sure that I am having a win goal, in this case, because I'm playing a $25 unit, of four wins. And then you're going to see that that will at least give me an, an update. Um, yeah, my, my uh, loss is going to be 26. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need an alert to say, you're done, get out. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and set that anyway. Because that was that. Maybe, maybe my uh, maybe my lost goal wouldn't be 26 and go the full way. Maybe it's 16. 
right? And go, okay, well, 16, that's 400 bucks. Uh, we'll put $400 at risk before we, before we jump out and we, we do something else um, that, that's different. So I'm going to come over here and we are, we're sticking on um, King Richard's Knight, right? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete because we're going to start over. Yes, I want to switch games. So we're back in King Richard Knight. King Richard Knight, instead of having a normal shield, this is the one game that's different. Check this out. So set it. So I'm gonna come down here and click on my shield. You can see right now it says my shield is off. So I'm gonna I'm gonna my shield settings are both off. And on this one, you actually have the ring of fire. So if you're doing King Richard's Knight, don't use your normal shield settings. Just use the ring of fire. What is the ring of fire? No idea. But it works. It it's actually it it. it it allows Richard's knight to move around the, the table uh, and, and make bet selections. If something's not looking good, he's going to go, nah, we'll, we'll just hold off. Um, so it's not betting every time, but the win percentage is actually pretty high. And using the orc money management strategy that I'll show you, it's also why I'm comfortable doing a $25 bet um, instead, of, instead of just doing a $5 bet on another game. Right? I'd, I'd certainly do a $5 bet on a different game, but if I'm using uh, the ring of fire, Set with King Richard's Knight, I don't have a problem doing a $25 bet. So with that, we've got our we've got our game parameters set up. Now we just need to go out and find a table. So we want to find a table that's fairly fresh. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Uh, lightning buck rod, no thank you. Looks like a speed buck rod F is frozen we're going to be starting a, a shuffle here we, that might be our, our choice you can see there's a lot of tables there's a lot of tables here so it should be there's one speed box rock eight we're going to put our red light on so we can go in we can put in our player banker player even though it probably wouldn't matter with with this one and then we're going to go ahead and say player because it's place still your having bets us please wet. our wait now we're going to go ahead and place our bet uh, so I'm going to do player, and I'm, I do like doing a 10% a, a bonus. Just, just something I like. I like, to, like like getting the bonus dollars. You, as we know, they don't always hit, but sometimes they do hit quite nicely. I mean, there, I got, I got an extra, I got an extra two bucks out of the deal. Woohoo! <laughs> so Please we can see bets, that it, it's now saying uh, we, we cashed. It's going on a progressive, and it's saying that it wants us to go to banker. Um, now I don't want to, I don't right out of the gate. I'm just not going to go to my fourth unit, even though I could very well get it. I'm going to go ahead and hit this R. So that's actually going to reset me back Place to my your base. Bets, please. It actually takes me back one step and there I would have made a lot more money. Place your bets, please. It would have been an awfully short video because I would have had my four units already. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to repeat. Um, so I'm going to click that. So if you're farther your progression, Place like your I was bets, the other day please. when I made a video, and I was like, how do you get, how do you get back? Uh, I just, I just kind of let it play out. I want to thank the person that reached out and said, click on the R. And then I talked to uh, Regal Castle and they're like, yeah, if you want to just move back one, just click on the R. If you want to go all the way back to base, long hold. And it uh, looks like uh, we've got the tie there. So the only thing I lost was my, was my $2, my $2 holla. So if I went to a seven, $75 bet, that would have been a $7 uh, bonus bet which would have been uh, nice to have in a tie. Um, I don't play the ties as often. I do I do tend to play them still, um, just not as often. So we're still up two units, and we're going for player. So th this would have actually tried to give us to go up three units. We had another tie again, so back-to-back -back ties. And then, uh, so I'm only down $4 in the ties. It's all right, it happens. If it was my... If that was my fourth tie going into the fifth tie, I probably would have done bet the tie. Because that, that's where we'll typically get a, a repeater tie. But you guys have seen that. Perfect pair on the Kings. And nice. So we win ten dollars. So we got a, we won eight dollars there. So we got all of our got all of our bonus money back. And now we're up up three units. And now Place it's saying, okay, bets, I, want you, I want you to go to player. And because I am only going for, I uh, didn't get my bonus in there, but since I'm only going for four units, doing place a 2575 right now doesn't make sense. 
Let's just get our, our fourth unit. And we didn't get it. So that saved me, saved me some money there. So, congratulations. So, so apparently I had uh, congratulations on a loss. That's horrible. <laughs> that's, that's really not what I need. Is a, is a congratulations on your loss. So let's go back in and we're going to change that sound. Yeah, loss sound. Congratulations. How about just a, uh, a loss bet sound? We'll, we'll update that. So getting back to our, getting back to our game. Uh, let's see, they just had a player and we're still waiting. See my, my matching up here? Yes. So, uh, Kings Richard Knight saying it's not, it's not time to, to put money at risk. And this looks like the, oh, the banker swooped in Place and stole bets, it. Please. So now it's saying, okay, let's, let's go big on the banker because we're in step two. So you can see the steps here. You got the base and then uh, 50, 25, 50, 75, 75. And it literally will just walk up and down. It's not, it won't jump around on us. Let's get that eight to stick. Eight didn't stick. Let's get a little extra coin in there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice. So we got the banker and look, my alert shows up. It says it's notification is time to change because it went green. It said, you got your four units, time to bounce. You don't need to be greedy. There's no reason to be greedy. There's plenty of tables here. We, we can just jump over to another table, reset it, right? No, not a reason in the world to get greedy. Um, and here, this one, let's see what it said. I mean, I've been waiting anyway, and it, it's it's still having me wait, right? Because it's, it's looking for that opportunity to jump in. So another thing you see, this whole screen up here went green. Not only down here, it's saying, hey, Mike, get out. Go find something else to do. Go find another table. You you hit your goal. We set goals for a reason, right? Time to go. And then also you see the player hand. When the player hand gets to 50, the screen up here is going to turn yellow. So that's telling us that this, this shoe is getting kind of long in the tooth. And we're going to think about if we can get, get into the profit. If you weren't the profit before, if you get the profit, and you had, even if you haven't hit your goal, look at changing tables, right? Because you're going to run out of shoe. And then once it gets to 60, it turns red. Because at that point, because remember, this isn't counting. This hand count up here does not count ties, right? So this hand, once this gets up to 60 up here, it could very well be a 70 hand count. And, and you just bought out of cards. Um, so you might want to just uh, take whatever loss you've got and, and just move on. Because that, that shoe absolutely wasn't working for you. So hopefully that was kind of fun. Nice short video for a change. And uh, you got to learn more about the app. And stay tuned because uh, I'm going to bring out another video. I'm excited to talk about uh, my next video is Regal Castle is actually going to be providing a school. How do you win every day? More importantly, how do you win $500 every day? What are they charging for it, Mike? What's the cost going to be? What's the hook? What's the catch? It's free. It's free. The catch is they're only going to limit it to so many people. Um, but it, it, it's an awesome way of giving back to the community. And we don't care if you win a little, win a lot, as long as you're winning. Right? And that's really Rich's motto. I'm going to tell you, I was, I was Rich's stole it for, for, for that line anyway. Um, but hopefully you stuck around at the end of the video to, to hear about that. So look forward to my next video where I'm actually going to talk about um, more about you know, what they're going to be doing because they make their money playing Baccarat. They don't need to charge for a school. So that falls right along, right, right in line with what I believe is why I do this YouTube channel. It's not about coming out here and, and, and making money off your backs. No, let's, let's share what we can to be able to make money across the board. Let's make a little, make a lot, throw that out to rich <laughs> at, uh, at Regal Castle. But, uh, thanks for tuning in until next time. Mike, the gambling guy. I'm out.